Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One for Wednesday, May 26th. And we're continuing our series this week on the word remember in scripture. So remember what God has done. Remember to live for that great God every day of your life, all the days that he has given you. And then this is the verse from Proverbs. This is Proverbs 10, verse 7. And the book of Proverbs, like the book of Ecclesiastes that we read from yesterday, is authored by King Solomon, who is the wisest man to ever live, and he leaves his wisdom for his son. So he's writing this book to his son, and it's wisdom, though, for all of us in how we live our lives. And so in Proverbs 10, verse 7, it says, The memory of the righteous will be a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. And this is a pretty, this is kind of a pretty intense verse to talk about how we live our lives and the legacy that we live. Because oftentimes we remember those who have done evil more than we remember those who have done good. And in the Jewish faith, when someone passes away, they say, may the memory of their name be blessed. And so that comes from this verse, that the memory of what they have done be a blessing for generations to come. And it's kind of part of what Paul talks about, is that instead of overcoming evil with evil, we overcome evil with good. So may the memory of the righteous things, the good things, the good, pure, lovely, excellent things of this world, may those memories stay in our mind and may the memories of evil and wickedness just fall by the wayside because eventually all those memories will be wiped away and we will only remember the good and the great and the beautiful because that's who our God is. We'll see you all tomorrow.